everyone is Stacy in Japan and today I will continue with the series let's read we are still in the New Horizon 2 textbook let's read 3 cooking with the Sun page 118 imagine that you live on a high mountain there is no electricity or gas. You need to eat every day. So you have to find ways to heat and cook food. When you are in a place like this, you can use a solar cooker. You can also use one after a disaster. A solar cooker is a tool to heat food in a pot. It collects sunlight in the pot. It can cook rice, boil eggs, and even bake cakes. A solar cooker is helpful to people in developing countries. Why? First, Making a solar cooker does not cost much. You can make one with only cardboard and aluminum foil. Second, people in developing countries can get cleaner water by boiling it with a solar cooker. Drinking water from rivers and lakes is one of the biggest causes of disease. Third, a solar cooker is safe because it does not make smoke. More than one third of the people in the world burn firewood indoors to cook. A lot of children die from its smoke. A solar cooker can solve another big problem because it does not use any fuel. People need a lot of wood to cook every day. Collecting wood is hard work, especially for women and children. With a solar cooker, they do not have to collect wood anymore. More than 2 billion people use wood to heat food. Cutting trees in forests add to global warming. If you use a solar cooker, you can save about 550 kilograms of wood every year. We use a lot of energy in our daily lives. We get most of this energy from gas and oil, but they are limited. A solar cooker uses solar power. It is an example of renewable energy. There are other examples of this energy, such as water, wind, and natural heat in the ground. Renewable energy facilities often cost a lot, but you may find a simple idea like a solar cooker. Sometimes a simple idea has the power to change the world for the better. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.